now for a bit of what I'm going to call wide openness. Um, it's not a matter of being able to see off into the distance, but it's just there's so much to see. And of course, if you're surrounded by different plants, and uh, that, I mean, your brain explodes. I mean, the colors, the, even, even though they're generally all green, but the different shades, different shapes, heights, sizes, thicknesses, all, all of that. Um, anyway, and of course, from this position of wide openness, I, I can see quite a few roots. Um, as I mentioned in the previous um, episode, it's very, very quiet. And uh, I'll probably come back again and let you see what it's like when it's bustling with people. It changes everything. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, here. Here's this... Um, uh, I always think of it as a magical globe, and it attracts a lot of kids. Uh, Grown-ups are too uh, stuffy. <laughs> we sort of look at it sideways, oh, I'm not going to look at that. But kids are uh, very honest, so they look at it and think, wow, what is it? And they make faces and see reflections. And uh, I suppose it uh, boosts the imagination in one way. Uh, anyway, that's that. So, And now we have this sort of nice stretch of green that if you look in the distance, you see a little lighter patch where that white wall is, and you can go through there, and I believe we'll visit it later on. It's a sort of Japanese-ish garden. Well, uh, with that bird dashing off, I suppose I'll dash off as well. <laughs> 